Okay, dear students. So let us see what is there in this question. An object at the end of the spring oscillates vertically with simple harmonic motion. The graph shows the variation with time t of the displacement x of the object. Okay, so this is an SHM motion and the graph is also given. What is the velocity of the object? So my dear students, first of all, there are only two equations that are that can define simple harmonic motion and they are y is equal to a sin omega t and the second equation is y is equal to a cos omega t. So the graph of sin will be somewhat like this and the graph of the cos will be like this. Isn't it for one complete cycle? But this graph is different. So this graph will be y is equal to minus a cos omega t. And so the graph will be somewhat like this. It will be the mirror image of this graph. So <coughs> this graph that is shown here in the question is y is equal to a minus a cos omega t. The only thing is that we don't know what is a and we don't know what is omega. So we would be uh, substituting those values once we find them. So for us, the displacement curve will be given by now the displacement is 2a sorry amplitude is 2a cos and omega can be written as 2 pi by capital T that is the time period for one oscillation. So the one oscillation it goes like this. So the time period for one oscillation is 2t. So I am substituting 2t here and this will be t. So 2 and 2 gets cancelled. So it will be minus 2a cos of pi by t into t. Now we can differentiate to find the velocity of the particle. So dy by dt will be minus 2a and on differentiating cos we find minus sine. So it will be minus sine pi by t into t and there will be a chain rule also that will be applied in this differentiation. So we would be getting pi by t also. So our answer must be minus 2a pi divided by t and minus and minus gets cancelled. Sorry, it will be positive into sine of pi by capital T into small t. So this is the equation for the velocity of the particle. And because of this graph, we can say that the upward direction is taken as a positive and the downward direction is taken as negative. So the velocity here is positive. It means that at this point, the velocity will be upwards. And that is absolutely true. The velocity is upward at that point. So out of these options, I would say B is the correct answer here in this question. Okay. Please note this point that in this question, in the answer sheet, the answer given is A. A is given as the right answer. But as per my information that is shared by a couple of people with me, this answer as given by IB answer book is not right. And later um, IB has posted some solutions also and they have um, said that no, the B is the correct answer. But initially, if you check the answer key, you will find that the answer given is A. So that is wrong. This is right. Because if you consider like let us say this point, if we consider this point at this time t is equal to zero. So when I substitute t is equal to zero here. So velocity is coming out to be zero because it is extreme position. But let us say uh, we are having uh, some this value. So the angle will be from zero to pi by two. So if you have zero to pi by two here, the so sign will be positive. And hence the velocity of the body should come out to be equal to a positive value. So if this is coming out to be positive, it means that body is moving in upward direction and absolutely correct. When the body is at this position, it is moving in the upward direction. So answer B is absolutely correct and A is not right. So this is Professor Varun. All the best. Bye.